Python Tutorial Augmented DK Fuller Test First order train stationary time series consists of random processes that have constant mean which don't exhibit trend pattern. This topic is part of purse training analysis with Python Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of this video. Augmented DK Fuller test consists of evaluating whether time series was first order trend stationary with no hypothesis that it had a unit root and was not stationary. For full reference, I recommend that you read David Dickey and Wayne Fuller, Distribution of the Estimators for Autoregressive Time Series with a Unit Root, published in the Journal of the American Statistical Association in 1979. As a formula, we have that current period data difference is equal to constant intercept plus a beta coefficient multiplied by a trend variable, trend variable as a sequence from 1 all the way into the number of iterations, plus a gamma coefficient multiplied by previous periods data, plus and here we have the sum from the first to the p number of lags included within augmented decay fuller test of delta coefficient multiplied by previous periods data difference, plus this regression forecasting errors or residuals. And regarding augmented decay fuller test, we have the following options. First, we have constant equals to zero and beta coefficient equals to zero, therefore augmented decay fuller test without a constant and without a trend variable. Then we have c different to zero and beta equals to zero, therefore augmented decay fuller test with a constant but without a trend variable. And then we have c different to zero and beta different to zero, therefore augmented decay fuller test with a constant and with a trend variable. And we can perform individual tests of gamma coefficient t statistic approximated p value. If gamma coefficient t statistic approximated p value was less than alpha percentage level of statistical significance, then time series was first order trend stationary with 1 minus alpha percentage level of statistical confidence. On the other hand, if gamma coefficient t statistic approximated p value was greater than alpha percentage level of statistical significance, then higher differentiation order needed for first order trend stationary time series with 1 minus alpha percentage level of statistical confidence. Notice that we can also perform a joint test of the constant beta and gamma coefficients through f statistic approximated p value in case they were included within augmented DK Fuller test. Great. So let's go into Python PyCharm IDE so that we can study augmented DK Fuller test with greater detail. Excellent. So here we are within Python PyCharm IDE. In this tutorial, we'll be working within Python tutorial augmented DK Fuller test code file. So the first step within the tutorial is to do packages importing. So we're going to import numpy.mp, pandas as pd, then mat.lib.py plot as plt, and from statsmodels.tsa for time series analysis, stats tools as ts. The following step is to do our data reading. So we create this data object, which is equal to pd or pandas.read underscore csv, and within it the path to the data file, found within data directory, and its name augmented dk fuller test data as a plain text file with .csv or comma separate values. Index column as date, and we parse those dates as true. So let's go ahead and open that data file. Within it, as mentioned, we have a plain text file with .csv or comma separate values. We have two columns of data, first of these dates, with a daily frequency from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore 10 years of data, and then we have EWG adjusted. EWG corresponds to the ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the MSCI Germany country index, and adjusted because this includes adjusted close prices, which were adjusted for dividends and splits. So back into the code file, now that we have the data ready, we can delimit training and testing ranges. Training range, commonly used for purse identification and purse spread co-integration evaluation, and testing range, commonly used for purse trading strategies, calculation, and their performance evaluation. Notice that this training and testing ranges delimiting was only included for educational purposes, therefore it is not fixed and it can be modified according to your needs. So we create here T data for training range, and it's going to be data from the beginning of the time series all the way to the end of 2014, therefore the first eight years of data. Then we rename its columns with TGER so that we have German prices within the training range. 
And then we have F data. F for testing range and it's going to be data from the beginning of 2015 all the way to the end of 2016, therefore the last two years of data. And we rename its columns with FGER so that we know that this is German prices within the testing range. Within this tutorial, we'll only be working within the training range. The next step is we want to visualize prices within their associated chart. So we create a new object here, which is going to be named TGER for German price within the train range equals to TData. And to visualize them, we have fig1, figure1, comma AX or axis equals to PLT, that's math.lib.sopplots. And within it, we're going to plot within the axis, first German prices within the train range with their label, the legend located at the lower right, the title of the corresponding chart, and we show the corresponding chart. The following step is to do prices augmented DK Fuller test. So we create this variable TGER ADF or German price within the train range augmented DK Fuller test. We'll be using TS feature from stats models and the function AD Fuller. And within we include as parameters TGER, German price within the train range, the maximum number of lags equals to one. That's the number of lags included within augmented DK Fuller test and the regression to include CT, therefore constant and trend. Notice that these parameters, the maximum lag and regression equals to CT, were all included as an educational example, therefore they are not fixed and they can be modified according to your needs. And then we're going to print blank spaces, the title which is prices augmented DK Fuller test, another blank space, and then we're going to print augmented DK Fuller ADF test statistic and associated p-value. We're going to print them with numpy rounded for six decimal places and first of all, within the previously created object, the TGER ADF for augmented DK Fuller test of German price within the train range, at the zeroth position with Python notation, that's the first position, we find the test statistic, and at position one, which with Python notation will be the second position, we find the p-value. So let's go ahead and run the code file. When you're doing it for the first time, you need to select at any part of the code, click the right button on the mouse and scroll down to the code file name to run it. But as I've done it before recording this video tutorial, its name is already stored here. So just go ahead, select it and click run. Perfect. So here we have, first of all, the chart with those German prices within the train range, prices chart. On the vertical axis, we have the adjusted close prices on the horizontal one dates from the beginning of 2007 all the way to the end of 2014, therefore the first eight years of data or the training range. So we close the chart and we see printed within the console prices augmented DK Fuller test with the corresponding test statistic right here and the associated p-value. Notice that this p-value is the one corresponding to the individual test as described within the slides. Excellent. So now that we've finished studying augmented DK Fuller test, let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, this tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this, we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.